Well, hello and welcome. Today, we are gonna be looking at how you can fix a really, really common problem with OBS Studio when it comes to audio being in sync. Now, the most common reason this is happening is because you are using a capture card either to capture your webcam or if you're using like a fancy DSLR camera or if you're streaming a game from a console and so you're having to use a capture device again. What often happens is the capture device can add a little bit of a delay on there. So so we need to know how to fix that in OBS and it's actually really really simple so let's get to it so the first thing we need to do is work out which part of our stream has the delay is it our microphone is it our game we just need to basically have a listen and see which one is behind <laughs> Now, the easiest way to work that out is to actually use the start recording feature in your OBS. So just click start recording, talk for a little bit, let your game sound play for a little bit. Something that you can do, for example, is if you are doing an FPS type game, is when you are shooting, just count as you do that and count into your microphone. And that will allow you to very easily be able to see whether it is the game or your microphone that is out of sync. Once you've worked that out, you'll also need to kind of have a rough idea of of how long that is but don't worry if you can't work it out we can use that good old-fashioned trial and error to get it just right so let's say for example we have found out that it is our game that is out of sync so the audio there is a little bit behind the gameplay that we're seeing on the screen so to fix that what we need to do is to come to our audio mixer and you should see it'll be it might not look just like mine here but it will be somewhere within obs if for any reason you can't see this audio mixer on your obs what you need to do is come up to view at the top choose docs and you will see in here there is a tick box to turn your audio mixer on and off so just make sure that is ticked now down in the audio mixer what you should be seeing is absolutely everything that is going to be making noise on your stream so you can see here i have split out my desktop audio i have discord i have my microphone and i also have spotify so for me my game audio is actually linked and comes through as my desktop audio so this is the item that we would need to be looking at now you'll see at the bottom of each of these items we have a little cog if we left click on there we get the option that says advanced audio properties just give that a click now in this screen we get even more items so this is absolutely everything that you have on every possible scene that can possibly make any noise on your stream so this could be quite a big list i mean i have tons of stuff but you can see there's a scroll bar loads and loads of stuff i've got various shout outs all kinds of nonsense going on there and look at this as well there's a tick box here which says active sources only so if the item that you're looking for isn't on here if you untick this it will show every single source so just be aware of that one now on the left here we have our list of all of our different items so if you remember we identified that the issue was with our desktop audio as that's where my game audio comes through so we follow this one all the way across and we can see this item here that which is called sync offset so basically in here we can set a value which is going to add a delay to that particular audio source now ms just stands for milliseconds so what 475 milliseconds is is roughly about a half a second delay on there so if you think that your audio is maybe half a second off just go and put say 500 milliseconds in there save it do your recording listen back and see if it looks like it has now paired up you'll just need to keep tweaking this number until it's perfect or as good as you can get it just as another example if i scroll down a little bit you can see that i also have my microphone here and i also have a delay set on here again as i mentioned at the beginning i do use a cam link to link my camera to my computer which means that this microphone is very often a little bit ahead of my camera so to compensate for that I apply the delay to the microphone to slow it down for the stream so that it falls in line with what my viewers are seeing so the key here is to find what is the audio source that is ahead and to add the delay to that once you've made your changes you can just hit close and that will be committed and done 
and that is it. Hopefully, problem solved a lot easier than you thought it might have been. This is one of those that I get asked about all the time. It seems to be a recurring problem that people have when they're using capture cards. So I really do hope that if you're having this issue, that this fixes it for you. So if this video is useful, please go ahead and do all of those things that I love, love, love. Like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do, and I'll see you in the next one.